I'm sitting here today with Matthew Alexander Moncrief of Orangeville Prep, young Jason Tatum. It's, uh, you know, I, I think spending a lot of time with you and being able to understand kind of your favorite player and, and think, wh why do you think your game or why are you trying to model your game after Jason Tatum? Uh, I want to say I model it after him. I just kind of like everything that he does. Like, he's really smooth with it. He's, can, like, he's like a jack of all trades. He can, like, take you off the dribble. Take you from three. Uh, his ISO game's crazy, but I wouldn't say I model my game after him. I just try to take like little stuff from him and put it in my game. But he's one of my favorite players because he could do all that stuff. Who who else do you do you take things from? Do I take things from? I take stuff from like Paul George, um, like Giannis, people like that, like other long long players, kind of kind of like my body type. That's good. Um, CIA bounce. Orangeville Prep, yes, um, Team Canada, yes, provincial team. You've kind of done it all over the last couple of years. Yes, uh, recently, you were with Team Canada. Tell us a little bit about what, what that experience was like and what you took from that. Uh, it was a great experience uh, getting to like travel around the world. Like Only a handful of people have played for Team Canada and get to represent them. So where did you go? We went to Mexico and Argentina. Uh, it was There were two like very different countries, like the food was different. I don't really like the food in Mexico, to be honest. Did you get but, sick? Uh, a little bit, like some of my teammates got sick and stuff like that, but I was I didn't get too sick. Did they know? tell you not to drink the water? And yeah, all, all that stuff, we couldn't drink the water. It was like, it was a cool experience though, getting to play like international players. It's, international basketball is totally different from like playing AAU and stuff like that. It's more like smarts, um, just, yeah, mainly using your head instead of like your athleticism and stuff like that international but what I took from it was that yeah just you have to like stay locked in at all times you can't really have mental lapses um because they will it will cost you and um you just team Canada is more like you have to really know pay attention what you're doing all that stuff so just staying locked in is what I really took to now, from it. now I've known you growing up all the way since elementary school and and I know that you looked up to players that, that came before you. What advice could you provide to, to a young player that's looking up to Matthew Alexander now, seeing him play for Team Canada? Uh, what advice? Just always just keep working. That's that's the biggest thing I could say, because no matter what, people can't like, take away your work effort or anything like that. That's probably the biggest thing that will help you achieve your goals. So I would just say always stay in the gym, keep working. That's that's the biggest advice I could give you. What do you think is your biggest strength? That that exactly just my work ethic. Um, just what what separates you? What in, in terms of a, a kid that says, "Hey, you know," because every, everybody in the world now says, "Hey, I'm grinding it out in yeah. the gym." But if we were to define the word grinding, I think a lot of your teammates would say that that pitcher has to be Matthew Alexander Moncrief in the dictionary under the word grinding. What is that? What does that mean to you? And 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 grinding it out. What is that? Uh, like even when you're tired, still getting that extra work in when you're not feeling it when your teammates are all tired just getting those extra shots up because it will pay off like your friends might not see it they might like think you're crazy or something like that but it does pay off and they will start to see it like if they don't see it in months or something like that those extra weeks and months that you put in it will, it will show up eventually now what time do you wake up in the morning it's summertime now so i'm so, so you're slacking right no, now i'm not slacking but i'm probably up at eight, something like that. Like this morning, I woke up at eight, got a workout in. But during school season, uh, we can be up from like five thirty or something like that. Cause Brandon, Brandon is flex, like my uh, our trainer Brandon, he's flexible, so we can be up at five thirty, six sometimes. Yeah. And and how many times? I mean, your typical day, you, you get up, you do a workout in the morning, you go to school, you come back, you do kind of your team practice. Yeah. Do you bug your coach to get back in the gym after that? Uh yeah, sometimes I do. Like when I'm. If I shot if I shot off that practice or something like that, then I'll definitely beg him to get back in the gym. But yeah. What are you working on most right now? What what are we, what are you trying to do to take your game to that next level? For the, to the next level, I think the biggest thing that's gonna separate me because I feel like I'm really good at getting to the rim. I'm really good at in transition. I'm really athletic, but I think the thing that's gonna separate me is my shot at the next level. So really, just uh, be able to create create space for my shot and just catch and shoot. That those are the two things that are gonna separate me. You you're working on your body. You, yeah. you you're starting to change. Your your body's starting to fill out. Um, is that something you spent a lot of time on, or and and how much more time are you gonna spend uh, on? Definitely, it? like the summer. The summer is like the time when you can spend uh, spend the most time on your body, but. 
as you know, I've been playing Team Canada, a lot of AAU, stuff like that. So it's been, I really haven't had that much time to work on my body, but now it's that the summer is like settling down. I have the whole month of August to just, that's my time. So that's what I'm gonna be working on and yeah. Now, are you, are you a goal setter type of guy? You kind of- Oh yeah, definitely. So so what goals have you set for yourself and, and what have you kind of done to start checking those boxes off? Uh, it's simple. My ultimate goal is I wanna be in the NBA one day. Um, I want to go to a college and just go straight to the NBA. Top five pick? Definitely. That's that's one of my goals, but I just have to uh, work at it every day. I feel like I'm in a position now where I can, like, I'm in a position now where I can achieve that goal. I just have to, like, stay determined for the next, whatever it is, two, couple years. Stay determined and, like, I can, I can achieve it. I feel like I'm in a position to do so. Now, now, one of your steps you said was, you know, go to college, obviously, and then yeah. and let things kind of progress from there to the NBA. But um, who's recruiting you right now the hardest, and and who's who's offered and who has interest? Uh, schools I have offers from is Vanderbilt, Arizona State, Florida, uh, Georgia Tech, um, Tulane, and I have a couple of interest too. I probably won't be able to name all of them. Um, I've been talking to Michigan, Virginia, Arizona recently. Um, I'm forgetting a lot. I know Butler. Um, I can't think of them all. Now, now, two years ago, did you think you'd be sitting here forgetting schools and <laughs> and not. and what was your thought process? Because you, when when people ask me, what is the process? You've you followed the process to a T, and, and we always talk about having a paved path and waiting your turn and and a lot of kids they can't wait their turn and and so they go off searching for that you've waited your turn and played with behind and ahead of some great players yeah. what what do you think has kept you focused and and trusting that process um i just had a really good coach um he kept me like he kept me grounded at all times he, ne he never let me get any he never let me get too high too low anything like that so I just had a great coach in high school he always like who always used to tell me I can't give you the keys to my Ferrari if you don't know how to drive stuff like that so it was just learning before like guys before me like Iggy so um, do you have your license <laughs> I think I have, I think I got my license now yo um but learning learning before guys before me like Iggy um Aaron Keyshawn all those guys that like they're older than me. They were better than me at the time. So uh, my first year, I didn't really get to play a lot. But then last year, I was in the sum in the summer. I just worked hard. Um, I, I played a lot this year. We had a, I had a great season. Um, yeah, but that was it. Just learning, learning before guys before me. Now, now that. I see you hooping in open gym, and and guys coming back here, and 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 you're you're in the gym with NBA players. You're in the gym with college players. Is there a certain a certain level of excitement or? Uh, what what goes through a young guy's mind when when they get to step on the court and go open run with a guy that you're watching on TV every night, whether it be in college or in the NBA? It's pretty cool to be honest, because it just makes me feel like I'm that much closer to really achieving my dream. Like I'm really like I'm playing with this guy, but also like you want to compete with him too to see like where you match up and stuff like that. So it's it's just like it's great. So you kind of step it up a little bit on those days. Yeah, a little. Bit. Make them leave like yo, <laughs> MA got better. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's good. I, I'm going to change the pace a little bit here. Um, favorite pair of kicks? Favorite pair of kicks. That's a tough one. Uh, I got to go Jordan 11's uh, colorway. Let me see. Jordan 11 Concord. Okay. And if you were in a shoe store right now and you could pick any shoe to hoop in, what is oh. it? Ball shoes. Um, I'm getting the I'm getting LeBron 15s. I I haven't got my hands on those yet, but I want I want to play in those. Do it tough. LeBron 15s. We'll have to <laughs> work on that. Uh, favorite music music artist and uh, why? Who are you, who are you pumping right now? Before a game, maybe there's difference of what what you'd listen on a normal day and and before a game. Uh, okay, game day. To be honest, I'm not a music guy. Like. A lot of players listen to music before games. I'm not one of those guys. But if I'm just on a road trip or something like that, Meek, Meek Mill, definitely bumping him. Uh, Drake. I listen to rappers like you might not hear a lot, like Jake Critch. Some people might know him. Uh, yeah, just guys like that. I like New York rappers. Now, um, you said you don't listen to a lot of music on, on game day. What do you do to get prepared for games? 
Mentally. Mentally, just talking to my teammates before the game. What do we need to do to like really pull out this dub? Just yeah, mainly talking to my teammates, getting getting loose before the game is a big one. Like skipping, stretching, all that stuff. You follow rankings? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Do they do they upset you? Encourage um, you? I feel like it's just yeah. Sometimes they can they upset me. Not really upset me, they motivate me. I would say is the word. Like I see. I played against players and I see them like whatever 20 spots ahead of me and it's just motivation to say I have to prove to them why I'm better than him stuff like that so and so so you, you're looking at the rankings you see dudes that are ranked ahead of you you're playing them today just go ahead and that that's, you, that's you, you, you taking names oh definitely you putting true. pictures in your locker before a game and say yo <laughs> this dude's coming coming down I today I don't take it that far I'm putting pictures in my locker but yeah we def you definitely have to go to his neck Good stuff. Um, every every segment we have this thing kind of you know our kicks cam. Yeah. Tell everyone what you're rocking on your feet right now. Um, we're in Jordan Six University Blue, something light. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, I decided to wear a special pair of shoes for you today too because uh, obviously Jason Tatum. You and I had some some discussions and and I said uh, you know we had been talking to an NBA player that was playing with Jason Tatum and said, yo, he's like a little Kobe, and, and he's got a lot of Kobe in him. And so when I was going through my shoes today, I was like, yo, I'm interviewing M.A., young Jason Tatum. I'm going to put some Kobe's on, and, and, and hopefully, you know, I think – Watching Jason Tatum really design his game and work on his game, and and I know you you follow a lot of YouTube and and, and um, different videos on on him. I hope you continue to to go down that path because second to none, there's no one that's had a work ethic uh, similar to yours, and and I think your d desire and drive to 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 want to be great is what's going to separate you and continue to separate you from the rest. So I want to congratulate you on that. And, and that's why, you know, with the Mamba mentality, uh, I was like, I'm going to wear these Kobe's for MA today. Those are, those are tough. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go into something and, and I'm going to give you a rapid fire test. Call it kind of 30 second shot clock. <laughs> I haven't rehearsed any questions with uh, you. I want you to really just come off the top of your head. You know, I'm not going to ask you to freestyle or anything like that because I know you can't. But um, <laughs> we're, we're we're going to come we're going to come with some rapid fire here and see if we could get all the way through before the shot clock buzzer goes off. All right, right we ready, Mark? We ready here? Yeah. We got 30 seconds on the timer. Here we go. Favorite meal? Uh, jerk chicken. Favorite drink? Uh, uh, Sprite. Favorite favorite color? Blue. Shoe size? 14. Jordans or Nikes? Nikes. Favorite NBA player? Jason Tatum. Favorite NBA team? Uh, Oklahoma. Worst food? Uh, Mexican food. <laughs> Best song out right now? Uh, no answers. Favorite apparel brand? Uh, Nike. Dream vacation spot? Uh, Jamaica. I've been there though. All right. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Nah. <laughs> So we, we we got through we got through some I, I got I'm gonna fire off the rest we we got like five left here but we got through Beyonce and and Rihanna not bad Nikki or Cardi that's a tough I gotta go Cardi uh, Range Rover or Lambo uh, Range favorite college player uh, favorite O'Shea Brissett uh, Snickers or Mars uh, Snickers Chick Fil A or Bojangles those are both tough. <laughs> Chick. Chick fil A? Yeah. 2019 OSBA champions. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matthew Alexander Moncrief, young Jason Tatum. Catch him at Athlete Institute every week this year. Come out, support him, follow him on Instagram. Emmy, any shout outs to, to any of your followers, people you want to just give, take a special time to, to take a second out here? Uh, shout out my moms. Uh, follow me on the gram at no limit Emmy. Uh, shout out my pops. That's it. Your pops who? Mark. There Mark you Reeves. go. There you go. Everyone, check him out. Follow him on Instagram. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate you coming on. First player to be on uh, the Tony yes, Mack show. Yes, and sir. definitely won't be the last time because I expect to be sitting here for your college uh, decision. Yes, sir. And then uh, when you're a top five pick in the NBA, we coming right back here to definitely. get another show. Definitely. Thanks for coming on, boy. Appreciate it.